photograph. It's been done um, just using uh, an shapes, MDF shape. Yeah. And of course, you don't have to use pre-cut wow. shapes. Um, we like them because they make a really nice, crisp um, resist yeah. against the light. Um, but of course, you can use sequins. Um, in fact, later when I demonstrate, I've got some doilies, I've got some lace. You can yeah. lay all sorts of things down on there. That's so cool. That's one my 14-year-old doesn't like me showing. Oh, that's probably. him when he was six. What's, it, what's his name? His name's Makani Kai. He's not that's... in school this morning. Makani Kai, is he watching? He won't be watching, unfortunately. Oh. He's going to watch something. Catch up. You can I watch will. Up and catch up. Makani Kai, you're a cool guy. <laughs> He's very cool. Great He's name, six foot tall now. Six foot six tall. <laughs> How old is he? 14. 14, he's six foot tall. Yeah. Get him playing tennis. Too. He's an amazing <laughs> tennis player. Uh, what about this? This is one of our motorbikes. Um, and again, they mm -hmm. make a fabulous subject, don't yeah. they? Um, because of all the detail. Um, and it's been shot mm -hmm. on, actually on film. Because yeah. we're still quite into our film photography. Yeah, love that. Um, which is why you've actually got the sprockets of the film showing. Uh -huh. And again, in exactly the same way, it's just been printed onto acetate. Yeah. Um, and then used, laid down onto the paper, uh -huh. and then just put out in the sunlight. Stunning. And that's all you need. Sunlight and yep. the magic happens. Uh, 19 99 is your price. You will be seeing it in action. 289 634, your item number there. We've got lots more on our website. Take a look at this. Let's take our morning stroll. It's 8 o'clock. Come on. Now, the toning kit makes it different colors as well. So if you're looking for sepia effects, you've got a toning kit uh, in the mix, which you can find. So it doesn't just have to be blue. And that's a question that you get asked a lot, I know, Beck. So it's something we will show you some finished examples. We've got some laser cut shapes if you wanted to create them as match, but also uh, perfect if you want to use them in conjunction with everything else on the show. Really, really good. So have a look at those laser colour shapes. And look at the freedom prices. You can shop by brand. Just type in Investors Asylum. Oh, we've got the Investors Asylum Mindful uh, Stitching Kitchens as well. So lots on there. Uh, have a look. Okay. What are we going to be playing around with then, Bex? We're going to have a go at actually making a cyanotype now. I can't okay. wait. So this is the so process. Obviously, I've put some gloves on. Okay. Um, the sensitizers aren't actually harmful. They can mm. be a little bit irritating to the skin. But the problem is, like I said, it will go into anything that's porous. Mm -hmm. Now, that's great because it means it'll work on paper. It'll work on fabric. It'll work on wood. It'll even work on wood. some types of stone. Like the a pumice stone. Yeah. Right? The yeah. other problem is, though, our skin's porous. Oh, okay. So it'll also work on skin. <laughs> so Sorry, get some open. gloves on. Yeah, yeah, definitely get some gloves on. Okay. So what I've got now is um, just one of those sort of takeaway trays mm -hmm. here. So it's nice and flat. Well, I've got a, a cupboard full of them. Cupboard full. You always end up with a cupboard full of yeah. them, don't you? You end up clearing them out every now and again. Um, so we've got the two bottles. Okay, we've got our two sensitizers here. Mm -hmm. Okay, A and B. And what we're going to do is mix them in equal amounts. Nice. So I'm just going to take a cap full of each to start off with. Mm -hmm. Um, now, it goes a long way. Yeah, a little does go a long way. Okay. Uh, let's do a couple of catfalls to make sure I've got plenty. So literally a couple of catfalls. A couple of catfalls. That is not a lot. Brilliant. Um, so this is going to last you an age. Yeah. Now, obviously, if you're going to do lots, mix up mm -hmm. more. Um, and... So, are you interested in the science side of things? I love science. Uh, Absolutely love science. Yeah. We're all scientists in our house. Uh -huh. um, believe it or not, I did science up to A level. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, people always get a bit confused by that one. Yeah. Um, my, when I went to pick my A level choices, um, I did. Um, history, art, biology, and chemistry. Ah. Um, <laughs> people sort of looked at me yeah. very oddly when I was picking those. Well, it's because sometimes, traditionally, not everyone, but it's a nice mix, a rare mix. Find someone mm. who likes their sciences but also their arts. You've got yeah. their creativity and also more the yeah. sciences. Yeah, it, it doesn't tend to mix together. Mm. But um, I know a lot of people, for instance, who work with glass or ceramics, yeah. and that's a very science based process. And actually, I do a lot of ceramics uh. as well. So it, it does help to understand the science yeah. behind it all. Our director, Chris was saying that he fell in love with science and got into it after watching the movie Weird Science. Oh, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. So we've yeah. got the two mixed together there yeah. now. It, this is just an ordinary household paintbrush. The wider the brush, the easier it is to get it on. Yeah. Don't faff around with a little brush, yeah. it's not going to work. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So 
what we're going to do then is just, I'm just putting down some plastic just because if you've got a, a non-porous surface underneath, that mm. makes sure that it's not soaking into the base surface rather than the thing you okay. actually want it on. Now, so have you used, uh, what have you used on your top? Because it looks really cool. Oh, my, my dress shirt? Yeah. That's rust dyed. That's, that's actually I mean, rust dyed. Well, that is yeah. really cool. We'll show you. It works great on fabrics. Okay. okay. So with the... Um, the solution that I've mixed up now for the mm. cyan touch, I'm literally just going to paint it oh. straight on. I mean, this is a technique. To, I'm following you, watching, because this is the first time I've seen this technique. But anyone can do it. Oh, absolutely anyone can do it. Um, I would always make sure you're supervising younger people just to make oh, yeah. sure that the solution is not um, ending up where it shouldn't. Would you... Now, what would happen, say, if I dip the whole fabric in there, scrunch it now, all out? Now, if you dip it in fabric and yeah. then scrunch it all out, what it tends to do is oversaturate. Okay. And what we find is when you oversaturate, A, you're using more liquid than you need to, yeah. and B, what it tends to do as it's drying is it actually tends to set off the process because there's too much liquid in the fabric. Oh. Um, so us crafters tend to like to not use any more than we absolutely oh, yeah. have to, don't That's we? It, yeah. um, so don't worry about dipping it, just okay. paint it on. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to do now, is because, again, we're all the kind of people that want to get on with it right now. Oh, yeah. um, if you can let it dry overnight and dry naturally, it is slightly better. Right. Um, so if you've got a nice understairs cupboard or something like that, that you can just leave it to dry and then yeah. go for it. Um, but otherwise, you can use a hairdryer. Okay. Okay, so it's going to get a little bit noisy for a second. Sorry. What I'm going to do with the hairdryer is I'm going to keep it moving. We don't want uh -huh. it to get too hot in one, one spot. spot. Otherwise, again, it will set these liquids off. Okay. Um, and we don't want to do that. So we're just going to okay. dry it with the hairdryer. Nice. You actually see a little bit of a colour change as it starts to dry. Yeah. Ooh. So, with this process you can force dry as we're doing now yeah okay or you can let it naturally dry yeah. force drying like i said it makes it happen faster mm -hmm. it doesn't change the color result at the end right but um occasionally it does cause um a little bit of the liquid to actually go um slightly blue around the edges before you want it to so okay. it it is better if you can let, let it dry, dry. naturally like the tv will forgive you yeah. But I mean, you can do this anyway. Okay. On paper, it will dry better yeah. and quicker. So, do you have lots of scraps that you do as technique with scrap material and then you print them together? Um, we end up with all sorts of bits and pieces. Yeah. Sounds like <laughs> um, a very artistic. It home. is, it is. Um, we have a very large studio in the garden. Oh. Um, people used to uh, used to joke that the sheds were breeding at our house because <laughs> um, my husband and I have a studio each. Yeah, studio each. Yep. Oh, we have to. Wow. We have to. We yeah. have different things that we do. You see. Yeah. Um, and then we have a messy studio as well, which has all the woodwork and things in. And then we have a dye room. Wow. And then we have the classroom. Um, and because uh, we run a lot of workshops at home as well. Yeah, that's cool. Um, so obviously once we've got this dry... You're seeing it, you are seeing like the, the edges now. Yeah, the edges color. are changing colour there. That's, that's really nice. Um, yeah, so we run a lot of workshops, hmm. which is a big part of what we do, because obviously one of our main things is to teach. You can see you're um, passionate about it. Well, I'm a fully qualified teacher. Mm -hmm. um, I used to be a high school teacher. Oh. Um, and um, one of the reasons we actually started making all the kits was because obviously we can't be everywhere teaching everyone all at the same time. Very true. Um, so we decided that by making the kits, it would allow us the ability to um, continue to teach people who weren't yeah. able to make it to us. And you're still giving that education, but you're yeah. able to reach so many more people. Yeah. Um, and some people don't want to learn by coming on a course. They yeah. want to be able to take it away and just do it for themselves. Experiment. Yeah. So you can see the colour change there, mm -hmm. in the back of it. Okay. It's going to go a kind of limey green, this one's actually going slightly brown, okay. just to be awkward. It's going to go a limey green, yeah. it's getting a little bit warm in places because of the hairdryer. Mm -hmm. um, and then what you're going to do, once okay. it's completely dry, is you're going to place your shapes or your resists upon the top of it. Right. Okay. So pop whatever it is you want on top. Mm. I really like things like these. Ah. 
See the lovely shapes in that doily? Oh, yes. They're going to make a fantastic resist. So you can place it down. You don't have to put the whole doily on no. either. You can just place it down on top like that. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to pop that to one side. Because nice. obviously what you would do now is you would take that and place it in the sunshine. Mm. Now, unfortunately, I did ask them to take the roof off, but uh, they said because of the potential for rain and the fact that other people yeah. need to be in here today, that wasn't going to happen. If it wasn't going to rain today, we might have. Yeah. Mm. Um, so, um, Leave it I outside. have actually yeah. got one I prepared earlier. Perfect. Now, I've been keeping it in the foil because the foil makes sure that no light can get to it. Mm -hmm. But once you've exposed it, it will turn this kind of colour. Okay. Okay. I'm intrigued. Yes. So at this point. So now we put it, it in the light. So it's we gone. We put it in the light. It's gone from that green, sort of brown to greeny kind of brown to actually so, now a very dark kind of blue. Yeah. Okay. okay. So this has been out now in daylight for anywhere between five minutes and thirty minutes, depending on what the kind of daylight you've got. Okay. Now, at this time of year, with this amazing summer we're We've having, had a great summer. it's been fantastic, yeah. hasn't it? Um, you're going to get away with about five minutes. Okay. Um, if it's slightly duller, then a bit longer. If it's slightly duller, then just leave it a bit longer. Okay, fair enough. Um, now, people worry. They think, oh, well, it has to be kind of like the summer we've got at the moment. Well, that's not true. Mm -hmm. You just need daylight. As long as you've got daylight, you're fine. We sell a daylight lamp. Unfortunately, yeah, they're one? not strong enough. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Okay. Um, but honestly, any kind of daylight outside, outside is absolutely yeah. fine. Just outside. Mm -hmm. All good. Yeah. Um, so what we're going to do now is the final stage, which is to wash out any of the unexposed liquid. Uh -huh. um, so in the red bowl, mm -hmm. um, I've got um, just ordinary tap water. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to pop fancy. it across in there. That ordinary tap water in that red bowl mm -hmm. and wash that out. Mm -hmm. Going through, okay. So what happens is the excess liquid is coming out. Mm -hmm. Oh! And what you're going to find oh, is, is the picture coming through. Oh, now, see, now you're really starting to appreciate that beautiful blue that yeah. you're able to achieve with the effect. That one's quite fine, so it's quite hard to see that one. So what I'll probably do is give that a squeeze. Mm -hmm. Just the details you. in that one aren't yeah. very strong, so let me find the one with stronger detail. Okay. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Sometimes you get better ones than other ones, All obviously. Right. That's the uh, wonder of this process. Mm -hmm. Find you one with a stronger print. But that's the whole joy, is the experiment. It is, it is about experimenting. Here we go. One with a much stronger print. Mm -hmm. But layering up, if you're into mixed oh, yeah. media, and you that's can have the some thing. real fun with this. That's the thing, you can layer on it, and at the end of the day, um, anything can be layered back over mm. because it's fixed once it's done. Yeah. And you can always do another layer over the top of it. Oh, there we go. Now there that's it is. cool. You can imagine that and incorporating because it's fabric. I think the designs would look good if you wanted to use them on a handbag or some clothing mm. or a design. They look really good. Now the, Patch thing on with, some jeans. the thing with clothing is that obviously when you wash it, it is going to cause it to fade a bit. Okay. Um, so you do have to remember that obviously. Yeah. It is going to cause some fading. It mm -hmm. isn't going to last forever. But then nothing in life does. Very true. Um, so. oh. Now, obviously, the fabric you do it on does like, affect it yeah, too. Like a ghosting effect. So this one's got a fascinating effect, this fabric. Like this, this is kind of a, a muslin type yeah. fabric that we were having a play with. Mm. Um, so obviously it's a softer finish yeah. than the really strong ones that we showed you earlier. So mm. it really does depend what you try it on. Lovely. 
Uh, and it really is as easy as that. You saw it, so it's painting it on, it's letting it dry, it's putting it out in the sun, giving it a wash, and suddenly you're going to have these effects here. But what really sets this apart is the magic in the bottle, so you do need those. Uh, 19 99 your price, 789-634 your item number if you want to get hold of those. We have got the weathering solution as well, uh, so don't forget, and also the rust dye formula, lots on the show. Uh, if you want to go for the Sienna type kit, though, 200 mil each, 19.99 your price, uh, 289.634 your item number. Okay, so we're going to have a quick recap. For those of you who have just tuned in, the weathering solution, how would you just, what, weathering solution, sorry, we're here. Um, yeah. Now, what can we use this on? The weathering solution, we can use that on um, a number of different things. The thing it's most effective on, mm. though, is the metal. Yeah. Um, so obviously we looked earlier at the way that it changes a can I'll from that you. bright can there. So you can see here, ordinary can, we've got them in our cupboards right now. So make sure there is a metal can and then suddenly, two days later, what? Normally, and you blew me away when you said this, how long would that take normally? To normally do? about two to three years if you left it naturally. Two to three years, look at the effect. So now, what about this technique for mixed media on your metal embellishments? What about this technique on your metal frames, the photo frames? That mm. would look great. Yep. Or, I think, you know, because I love, like, you get this effect on weathered signs and yes. stuff like that. So you're getting all that history that tells a story. Yeah. And one of the reasons we use it as well is because one of the things that we do is we make props. Oh. Um, we do a lot of props and costumes, so obviously that's a big part of what yeah. we're doing is we're actually weathering and aging things um, that are then going to go on TV or going to be worn in yeah. costumes um, for cosplay or something. And yeah. it's actually real rather than, like you said before, when you paint rust, yeah. um, those effects, they look great from a distance, yeah. but when you get up close, there's nothing better than actually having that oh. real rust pattern on it's it. that authenticity that it you're is. getting with the weathered effects it is obviously genuine rust have a little think how as crafters would you use this but for 12.99 for a liter and the beauty is that all the magic happens right here anybody can achieve this effect we're just showing you with the tin but you can use whatever you like as long as it's metal as long as it rusts then the weathering effect will work its magic now, speaking of effect, can I just say, i give you the details here. Twelve ninety nine, your price, if you want to get hold of these, 538274, your item number. Now, we've got a similar effect. Well, it's not, I mean, that's your weathering effect. This is your rust, uh, but more rust dye for fabrics. Yes, mm. yeah. Um, so obviously we can rust dye fabrics and you can actually do it onto paper as well. Mm -hmm. Do it um, onto tops? You can do it onto tops, that's the one I'm expertly modelling here. But yep. you can just see the little effects. Mm. I mean, that is so good. Um, it's great because, like we said before, it doesn't feel like, yes, I'm wearing a rusty nail. No. Um, it's just got those beautiful colours and shades on it. And because it's all come from nature, mm -hmm. all the colours go together, don't they? I think um, funky. The kids must love it. Have they got tops with that kind of um, Some yeah. of them have, actually. And yeah. again, we use it for the costumes because oh. it gives those effects. And one of the nice things about when you're costume making, mm -hmm. um, there's this lovely joke that goes <coughs> around that when you're making costumes, a lot of what we do, um, some the customers actually will have met us at the shows we do um, post-apocalyptic costumes oh, um, and a lot of that is okay. about trying to look trashed and dirty yeah. and worn this um, has got this has got the this dead has the look right. this has the it. look but yeah. without having to be smelly I would love, do you know, on, on this top I can imagine just some rusty effects exactly. on there. Exactly, it would look really, really good. And you've got the, already got the sort of logo mm -hmm. thing going on yeah, there. And so you have to send it yeah. home with me. Okay, I'll post apocalyptic. I'm going to give it to you. Yeah. Uh, okay, <laughs> I'm going to show you our demonstration, this. yeah, let's have a look. Let's have some clean gloves. Mm -hmm. Again, you really mustn't work with rusty stuff without gloves on. Okay. Um, you can touch rust without gloves, that's fine, but if you're going to work with it on a regular basis, you really yeah. should wear the gloves. Fair enough. Um, it's just a safety thing. Yeah. Um, so, I've got some bundles here that I made before, mm -hmm. but we'll have an open up of those in a minute. We're yeah. going to look at how you actually make a bundle Great. in the first place. So, uh -huh. um, obviously you can do it straight onto fabric. Mm -hmm. So, let's do one straight onto some fabric. Nice. Now this is just an old bed sheet. Cool. Absolutely simple. Yeah. It's cotton. 
Uh -huh. Nice thing about rust is unlike other types of dyeing, it mm. doesn't have to be a natural fabric. Yeah. Obviously natural fabrics will take the colour better because they uh, always do. Okay. Um, but you can get it into man-made fabrics yeah. as well because we all know once you've got a rust stain on something, it doesn't want to come out. Yeah. Um, but um, if you can get the um, yeah, you can get the rust into absolutely anything. It just takes okay. a little bit longer cool. on a man-made fabric. All right. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is mm -hmm. we're going to get the rusty objects and um, we're going to put them on here. Mm. Now if you do have any questions please get in touch. Uh, we're live right now. We'd love to hear from you. Studio at hochannels.com. What I will say, Bex has only got one live hour with us uh, so let's make it count. Uh, get your questions in. We'd love to hear from you. Studio at hochannels.com. We'd also love to see any images you might have. You've done any of this uh, techniques before. Uh -huh. So we're going to pop the rusty objects on, yeah. nice and simply, like mm -hmm. so. So like they, have these, have these been um, weathered? These just been left normally, or they, they haven't been weathered with uh, the uh, weather? No, these are rusty nails that I've been using for a long time. So I do actually use a bit of the weathering solution to help some of my rusty stuff rust up. Mm -hmm. um, I have a great big, well, I have several big buckets full of rusty stuff in my dye room. Yeah. Um, and when I first get them, if they're not quite rusty enough, I will use a bit of the weathering solution to give them a little bit of a help along the way. Nice. Um, but I tend to have a lot of friends who turn up and go, oh, look what there I've found go. in my shed. Would you like some rusty stuff? Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just going to grab a little bit of water from the tap behind okay. me. So you can just give me two oh, seconds. Yeah. Oh no, here, well I've got a little oh, bit of water. Have you got some water there? Well, sure, even you can easier. Just use, use a bit of that, I'll just give it. Thank go. you very much. I'll just pop a bit in there mm -hmm. and then you can have that back. Thank you. There we go. So we're just going to pop a little bit of water on here just to wet it out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Okay. It's obviously you're best off starting with the fabric wet because it's yeah. going to help the um, going to help the actual spray spread through further because then you don't need as much spray. Okay. Um, makes it much easier. Nice. Okay. So mm -hmm. fabric's wet, and then you can pick your spray. Now I'm going to demonstrate with this one. This is my favourite. Mm. <laughs> I love this one. So obviously I always keep them on off for safety yeah. when I'm not using them. Mm -hmm. And then we're just going to spray, literally, where mm -hmm. the objects are. Now, uh, just because I know we're always getting new viewers tuning in, we've got two different bottles yeah. coated in the bundle. The one you're using, what's the difference between the two? Right, the one I'm using is called dark. Now, mm -hmm. I call it dark because this brings out the darker tones. Yeah. So, so it's real rusted. This is going to be the really no. This is this is the black. Oh, the black. This Sorry, is the blacks, yeah. and you'll see why in a minute. Okay. And this one really will do something at speed. Okay. Unless it's misbehaving this morning. Um, the warmer it is, the faster mm -hmm. I find this one works. Oh, right. um, Would you ever force dry it or no? Um, drying is part of the process. Mm. Now, one of the things people get wrong when they're rust dyeing, because you can rust dye with other things, don't get me wrong. Um, you can rust dye with things like teas and coffees and yeah. vinegars and stuff like that, but it's a lot slower yeah. um, and it's a lot smellier. Yeah. Um, it's where I started, but I was getting frustrated with how long it was taking yeah. um, because when it takes too long, it actually starts to degrade the fabric. Mm. Now, because obviously for me, it's about getting fabrics that I can then make clothes with or clothes that I can wear. Yeah. Um, I needed the fabrics to stay in one piece. So I wanted something that was going to work much, much faster uh -huh. and that was going to actually give me something that was really, really good quality at the end still. Um, so that was what these were about. It was about mm. creating liquids that were going to make the process much quicker and really keep those fabrics whole at the end cool. of it um, and it was also about sort of experimenting more with the color mm -hmm. um, these create especially the dark creates a much more vibrant color mm. um, so the dark is going to get these amazingly rich tones and can you see here already yeah we're already and we've literally oh. just sprayed it on we're already pulling color into yeah. the fabric um, but that's it that's as simple as it needs that is now that ready is to go. That is not a hard technique. No, that's, that really is it. As far as dyeing techniques go, this is the easiest one there is. So how long would you leave that for? No, I would leave this now, the dark, for at least 48 hours. Okay. So you just one roll way it to up? do it is you can roll it up like this. Uh huh. 
and that just keeps all these pieces in a really strong contact. Yeah. Now if you're working with paper, obviously leaving it flat mm. um, is going to be better. Right. Because obviously once you start rolling paper, getting it flat again afterwards is mm. going to be harder. Yeah. Um, and again, if you're working even with fabric and you want the objects to stay in very specific places, mm -hmm. leave it flat. Yeah. That's Fair absolutely enough. fine. That's um, good. Good advice. Can we can we see the ones you did earlier on? Uh, yes. What I say earlier on, a couple of days yeah. ago. Um, so I'll pop that there because you'll see the colours change in that. Yeah. Let me just mop this a little okay. bit before we open the next one up. But you really don't get much easier than that as a dyeing technique. Mm. Normally you have to spend hours mordanting and all sorts of things. Now, people always say to me, what do you need to do to prepare your fabric? That's the big question I get even mm. after people have bought this kit. What do I need to do to mordant it or anything? Mm. You don't because the oh. rust is the mordant. What's, what's mordant? What is a mordant yeah. is the next question. Basically, a mordant is a thing that makes the colour stay in the fabric. Ah. Yeah? Um, it's as simple as that and that that's what the rust is actually doing the iron is working is that thing that makes the color stay in the fabric oh, so in fact you can use the iron to do that when you're okay. working with plants or other things oh. so okay. so this is the yes. same colorway oh. okay but this was done 48 hours ago yeah. looking at the okay. time oh. are we 8 30 yeah just yeah. under 48 hours ago about 47. Uh -huh. so as you can see, it's actually dyed the string. Yeah. And I've used uh, crochet yarn there so that you can actually then use that to stitch oh, with. Oh, that's, that's a lovely little touch. Wow. Wow. So 47 hours. Because I did it just after the school that run. It looks incredible. It looks organic. Yep. And you never know what they're going to look like till you open them either. So it's really good. exciting. You, you, can, you know what kind of colours you're going to achieve because you know... Ah, oh, ha, ha. Do you know what this reminds me of? Have you ever seen a stone broken in half? Yeah. And you get all these beautiful colours and patterns running throughout. That is so good. Gorgeous, isn't it? And I've put in here as well this time. Washers in there? There's some washers hiding in here. And this is a bit of scrim. Yeah. So you can see how it affects a different fabric. Next, this is inc incredible. You can see why I'm slightly addicted to it, can't oh. you? How it should come with a health be? warning. It's addictive. I'm <laughs> sorry, ladies, in gentlemen. In the best sense of the word, if you have an addiction, this is a good this one. This is a good one. Mm. I love it. So, but now you can see the colours that are in my shirt, can't you? Yeah, yeah. But obviously, I, I kept it slightly lighter in the shirt. Because the shirt's actually been done to keep it lighter with a slight mixture of the bright in there oh, as okay. well. Because you can mix the two. Yeah, you can mix and match. I love it. Mm -hmm. So look at that. Now, can you imagine this for your mixed media, for your soft craft? If you're looking to put a different aspect, a different dynamic, something that is gritty, uh, I think that is awesome for steampunk. It's fantastic for steampunk. steampunk. We sell a lot of this for use for steampunk. Yeah. And if um, you do love your mixed media, what a great thing. Mm. Everything you're bringing us, because this would look great with the weathering as well. So if yeah. you wanted to weather some elements, then use this on your fabrics. It is the perfect combination. Yeah. Beautiful colours and such originality. And you're always, every time, going to get something a little different. Yeah. Look, 17 98 for two bottles. And I want to stress, you are getting both bottles. There are 100, oh, sorry, oh, there are 1,000 mil, not 100 mil thousand mil per bottle so this is the one we worked with that allows you to get the darker colors and then this one gives you those beautiful rich bright sort of oranges and yellows a real rusted effect love it uh, now we have had a picture in this is from Ruth Ruth thank you for sending a picture in uh, using cyanotype let's have a look at what uh, Ruth said oh sent. that's wonderful that now the blue bits uh, the cyanotype Ruth that is lovely that looks very yeah. similar as well to the um, Mindful Stitch that we're going to have a look at. Which we are heading to yeah. right now, as if by magic. You'd think we planned the show. Uh, Ruth, thank you so much. That is a beautiful picture. $19.99 if you want to go for the Cyanotype kits uh, and achieve those beautiful bl uh, blue effects. You can change the effects. Just to say, with the Cyanotype, you can also change different hues, which we will look at a bit later on. So you get a toner kit there. Now, on to our Mindful Stitching like these a lot. You've got two different options, autumn and spring. Let's start with our autumn, shall we? Um, the autumn one obviously is those more natural shades of greens. Um, it's mm -hmm. those very earthy shades that you yeah. find at that time of year. Uh -huh. um, so the kit's basically designed um, really with that aspect. I, yeah. I stitch 
hand stitch because yeah. it gives me a sense of calm. Yeah. Um, it gives me that sort of time out zone where mm. I can stop and just find the place just to do something for me. Yeah, quiet um, in the mind. Yeah. But basically. equally, I think you'd be very sociable, so you can do this in living room. You can do it on the go, go on holiday, perfect. Yeah, very much so. It, it's very much a, a pick up and go kind of thing, mm -hmm. um, especially at this size. Yeah. Um, and the idea with the kit as well is to introduce the technique. Right. Um, and. The idea is that once you've got your head round the mm -hmm. technique, because it's also it's something I teach, and I find that a lot of people, once they've got round the idea of the technique, it's something they find they can take on a lot further. Nice. Um, so what are we getting in the kits? What we're getting in the kit, um, we're getting the um, backing fabric, we're getting a selection of um, pieces of fabric then to mm -hmm. create the sort of collage. Yeah. Um, and then similar to the one that we've just seen that Ruth had done there actually, we're then getting some lovely, um, these are vintage Japanese pieces, these three here that I've highlighted, oh. because the um, kit and the techniques actually pay homage to a technique called Boro, oh. um, back to that quilting again. Um, Boro mm. is a Japanese style of quilting. Yeah. Um, is it sim it's not similar to Sashiko? It is. It's, oh. it's, it's similar to the idea of Sashiko. Um, and again, I'm trying to sound intelligent here, but you were the one that told me about Sashiko earlier on. I didn't um, know. Because Sashiko it, it, was you a girl mentioned I knew Kanta as well, yeah. though, didn't you? So, I did, I did yeah. mention Kanta. I never knew, because I knew someone at university called Sashiko. I never knew that that was a tradition. Yes. Yeah, a so it, it's um, Sashiko and Kanta, very, very similar uh -huh. techniques. Um, both came from the same roots, yeah. which was this idea of um, fixing and mending. Um, not as sexy in Britain. In mm. Britain we call it darning. Darning. Yes. So we have Cantha, Sashiko, darning. darning. All the same thing. All, All referring the to the same thing yeah. really. And it's using yeah. those ideas, using those techniques. So this um, is showing you now. Put them together. The, with, whether it's autumn or spring, we're here we're using our spring fabric. Yes. Uh, but this is what you're going to end up with and that is just lovely. So this you could then maybe uh, introduce into another project. Yes, you could. Um, you could then use these ideas. The, mm -hmm. the kit also has lots of historical background and some yeah. ideas for stitching and things actually oh, in the nice. instructions. Um, and then thinks about ideas about how you could then introduce that into a long-term project mm -hmm. um, or how you could then think about using different fabrics and things yeah. to actually take it further and okay. continue to use it in your life as a way of creating that calm for yourself. Nice, uh, nice. Uh, okay, listen, you've got two different options here. So whether it is autumn or spring, but £10, can't go wrong. Uh, 356 644, your item number. We also have a fabric bundle for you. $14.99. This is pretty cool. And this has got this has got your name all over it. You can see that, can't you? It's a mixture of all the yeah. different fabrics. So if you weren't feeling quite confident enough yet, maybe to make your own, mm -hmm. um, then it's got a selection of both the cyanocyte and the rusty fabric in it, oh, um, so that you can have a go at doing all that amazing stitching or card yeah. making or whatever you like doing, um, without having to do the messy bit first. But um, that is a perfect example yeah. of cyanotype. Like That's a that. lovely one with the doily on top. Yes. That one. That's what I was saying. I really enjoy the shapes that the doilies make. Now if you see, if you do have these elements, get imaginative because I didn't know this actually. The team was just telling me this. I, I didn't know this about. So Jack, our floor manager. Mm. Um, so he now his grandmother. He was just sorry. He was telling them they've relayed <laughs> it to me. So his grandmother got him into this, like collecting the doilies, and he yeah. starts picking them up. So he's actually got quite a few at home. Oh, so if you have right. got these beautiful designs, to then work with. Because they are really intricate. Yeah, and it doesn't yeah. affect the doily in any mm. manner. So you can still use the doily for your ah. table or whatever you want. Yeah. Um, it won't damage it, it won't mark yeah. it. And this is nice. What about this? That's just an abstract one. So that's just actually been folded and exposed um, with yeah. the folds to the sunlight. That's nice. I like so Do you know what that looks like? Wood panelling. Like, it like, does, you can actually. Like, like planks. Yeah. Um, and then you've got the rusty oh. elements to go with it. And oh, then this, nice. this piece behind us just here yeah, look, yeah. is then using those elements put together. So this one's actually got the cyanotype in the middle and then the rusty fabrics around the outside and it's been stitched in a similar way to the techniques that you'd learn in the Mindful Stitch Kit. Bex, that is stunning. Now have a look. This is why so many of you are falling in love with the cyanotype. This effect, it's almost like a fossil effect, a ghosting yeah. effect that you're able to achieve. It's beautiful. And that's done with natural plants from the garden. So that's actually oh, a fern and a piece do, of ivy just straight that. out of the garden. Okay, so if you're going for the cyanotype kit, now this is the bundle of fabrics, got details on the screen, but if you're going for the cyanotype kit, 
I'd be going into my garden, looking around and thinking, what? think yeah, outside the box. Just try it. Absolutely Natural anything. Give it a go. go. Yeah. Give it a go. The, the liquid goes so far, you can try absolutely anything with it. I think that is beautiful. Mm. Really, really nice. But equally, you can be quite modern with it as well. Yeah. So you could do a simple design like smiley face and that. I think oh, it would yeah. be quite cool. Oh, oh, we've even tried it with small plastic men. Oh, yeah, I know the ones. Yep, you know the ones. Little yeah, as a little boy, we all have them. Yes. Uh, all right, now, <laughs> $14.99, if you want to go for this bundle, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Can't go wrong. Uh, seven eight five six five two. Your item number there. Well, was not that. That was just standard. Uh, if you spend sixty pounds or more, you can split the pot cost by creating your own flexi basket. Uh, I tell you what, let's do it together. Let's have a little look at what you can put in there. So uh, you can go for the cyanotype. You got the toner kit as well to make different colours uh, and the fabric. So putting those into our basket, go up to who? Oh, who are they? It's us. Uh, and then having a look. Now, none of those are on Flexi Buy, but watch what happens. Suddenly, there is a Flexi order. Uh, so it's over £60. Uh, you can see there, you click on fle Flexi order. Now, the reason why the pay today is slightly more, that's only because your postage, uh, your delivery is including your first payment. But if you're free to member, doesn't apply to you. And if you wanted to apply Freedom Membership, you could do. You will see the option. You just scroll down, just click on Freedom Membership, press that bad boy, and then I suddenly watch the magic happen. And then when you scroll back, you'll see no postage. It is well worth looking at. So uh, Flexi Order is here. Take advantage. It allows you to put a Flexi Order to items that wouldn't traditionally have a Flexi Order. Now we've got about 12 minutes, Bex. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to show us? I've got a really special little bundle hiding actually for yeah. the rust dyeing. Should okay, we have a look at let's that? Let's do that, please. So let's move that one we looked at before. Yeah. Because some people I know um, would rather not actually make the fabric and then make the clothing or anything okay. like that because obviously yeah. it's more fun to just have mm -hmm. it ready to go. So yeah. I thought this time I would bring you something special. Oh. Oh. Can't wait. Sorry, Rugs. I got it. There you go. <laughs> Hit myself in the head. <laughs> Why not? Oh, wow. <laughs> it's coming out of the plastic bag right now, okay? okay yes. I have no idea what this is going to look like. Ooh, what's in there? <laughs> um, <laughs> this is very brave, yeah. okay? Um, I set these things up and I have absolutely yeah. no idea what they're going to look like on air. Like, I love so that only you're doing live for it. on air as well. So we don't know what's going <laughs> to happen. I have no idea what's going to happen. They say mm. never work with children and animals, uh. never work with just randomness, hey? <laughs> Um, While you're unwrapping this, can I just ask, have you got a social media presence? Can we follow you guys yes. on social media? Um, we have a couple of ways you can follow us on social media. Um, there mm -hmm. is the Inventors Asylum. Yeah. Um, we're on Facebook and on Instagram. I'll be following you. What's your Insta? I'll follow you on Instagram. Um, Inventors Asylum. Brilliant. That's we're very, simple. very simple. Okay. Um, or if you want to follow me and see what my crazy exploits are, mm -hmm. then just look for the Queen of Rust. The Queen of Rust. The Queen of Rust. Brilliant. Um, so right. mostly on Instagram, but on okay. Facebook. I'm are we looking for, well. for, are we looking for the Queen of Rust? So this, this oh. is just a skirt. Um, picked it up in a charity shop. Yeah. We do like charity shops, yeah. they're fantastic. Um, do you know, there's so many things that end up in a charity shop nowadays just because people don't know basic things like how to sew on a button. Wow. It, it's just crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Um, or because it's been worn once and they don't want to wear it again. <sighs> Trade I thing. love it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, look, bargains for everyone else. It is, mm. it is. So these are, and see some of the things that are in here that we've got. Little Big rods, rods here. Yeah. I'm very naughty. I've not got to back Okay, on. that's all right. That's all right. I'm, I'm going to wash my hands straight afterwards. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll get that washer. The washer. Amazing that's a big washer. Old washer. So, what about this one then? You got your whisk. This in is there a whisk too. in here. Wow. Once it gets to the point where you can't use it, why not? Yeah. So it's like you've even got. What's this? You've got. It's a, a bit of chain. There, chain in there. <laughs> To go to the beach. We're supposed mm. to be cleaning up the beaches, aren't we? Yeah. Did you see the state of Brighton Beach after the bank holiday at the beginning of the summer? Oh, that was awful, wasn't it? Why do I don't understand. If you're going to go somewhere, have a picnic, put it in a bag and take it home, put of it course, in the bin. Why would course. you leave it there? I don't know. It's, it's a bugbear of mine. It, really it is a huge bugbear of mine. I've always taught mm. my children to clean up, and yeah. nobody does nowadays. It's just it's horrendous. Shame. Shame. So here we go. Are we ready? Oh. That looks good. Oh, so if you wanted to create something with an aged effect, props-wise, I can see why. It's that amazing. Is, the costume's incredible. But if you give that a wash out now, mm -hmm. it'll go through the washing machine, it'll go through the tumble dryer. Yeah. 
You know, I, I won't have anything in my house if it can't. Yeah, yeah. Because I've got four children. Well, of course. So that's oh. absolutely glorious. I just had a thought. Halloween. Your house must look great at Halloween. Oh, it's fabulous. Actually, I got married on Halloween. Really? Yeah. So Amazing. we go out for the night. Yeah. But that wow. actually, once I'd you wash it out, is going though. to be beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. It's going to have gorgeous tones of grey yeah. and stuff. So actually, grey is quite in again this season, isn't it? Oh, yeah. So just to be clear, what, what did we use to achieve this effect? This one is actually a mixture of both of them. This has mm -hmm. had the bright on it, mm -hmm. and then it's had the dark on it. OK. And you can see little hints of the shapes, can't yeah. you, in there? Yeah. You can. So with the Inventors, Rust, uh, Inventors Asylum Rust Dye Formula, you're getting a thousand mil of each. Uh, are you getting a thousand mil of each pot? In each, it's each? 500 each. 500 in each. each, sorry. So you're getting 500 in each, a thousand mil in total. How would you be, how would you be using it? We've got fabrics. What else can we do? Let's think outside the box as crafters. So you're getting your dark, you're getting your, you can use it on paper, you can use, you it, can it, on use it on canvases. Can you use it on canvas? You can use it on anything. Again, as long as it's porous, you can use it. It'll soak into it. So wood. give it a go, try it. Wood. So I've managed to stain wood with it before. Wow. So, yeah, give it a Chipboard. go. Chipboard. Uh, so you're getting those. Now, just to say, you're getting the... Oh, should we have a look at this? Because this is uh, what you did a little bit earlier on. So, no, I say earlier on. Last time, Bex came to visit us. Yes, yeah, so this is the samples. The ones that I actually unrolled on the show and the ones I actually rolled up on the show mm -hmm. last time. If you hold these up... These are the ones I did. Remember, you're getting the bright in here. So the bright... So the bright is these kind of colours. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then you're getting in the mix as well the, the dark. The dark actually will go as dark as this. Oh, oh, look at, look at that. And then if you combine the two, that's when it gets really fascinating. Wow. And you start getting these kind of things going on. This obviously has had a bit of dark coming at the edge. And then this was just a wash off cloth. <laughs> so it's just literally. So you can get it really pale. So yeah. even though some of these are really dark, and this skirt's obviously sat on the back shelf of the car, so it's yeah. got really, really warm on the way over. Um, and then wow, these, where you've got like the gradient, it's it looks the like outside a moody of the sky. roll. Yeah, this yeah. is where it's oxidised more at the outside of the roll, uh, towards the inside of the roll, where it hasn't got as much air on it. Now, it's, for for a mixed media piece, mm. if you wanted to create the illusion of a dark, stormy, moody mm. sky, wouldn't Stunning, that isn't look it? amazing? Amazing. But the best thing is, it, it is entirely washable if you want it to be. I, uh, I think that's important. Just going back to the darks, I mean, if we can just go, Chris, can we just go back up there? Sorry, on Earth's direction from the floor. But look, how cool does that look? It's amazing. And think, you've achieved that own effect. They're stunning, mm. the effects here. That is, and you can imagine as crafters, making a quilt looks fantastic. If you wanted this on a cushion, it would yeah. look great, soft crafts. Yeah. Really, really nice. And that's all done with nails, that one. Nothing else in wow. there, just nails. I'm, I'm officially a fan. Excellent. I'm a I'm massive pleased. fan of this. I'm also <laughs> a fan of Freedom Membership. Now, 17.98 for both bottles. So you're getting the bright and the dark. It works out 8.99 per bottle. 500 mil each. Good, good value. You're getting 1,000 mil in total. Uh, we're going to talk about the weathering solution. We are coming towards the end of the show. The weathering solution, and I, I do need to say it, it's only one live hour with Bex and the Inventors Asylum today, so do not miss out. With the weathering solution, as long as it's metal, as long as it rusts, you're able to achieve effects like this within days. I'm talking like two days as opposed to two or three years. That's the difference. Yes, it is. It's really, mm -hmm. like you said before, it's like putting it in a time capsule. Yeah. Um, all you have to do Ooh. is sand the surface so that you're breaking off. Because obviously yeah. when you're given things, especially like food tins, they've got yeah. a, a coating on them. Yeah, it's more like um, a, a sticky residue. Yeah. So if you use something like this, which is like a, an 80 grade sandpaper, mm -hmm. um, give it a rub over the surface. Yeah. Give it a quick rub down over the surface, uh -huh. just to break that shininess yeah. off. Um, and that's all you need to do so that the um, spray right. can get through. So, good principle, rule of thumb, give it a quick rub, and then you're able to use the weathering spray on there and achieve those fantastic effects. Yeah, Stunning. simple as that. And like you said before, if you've got flatter metals or any metals you want, yeah. as long as they are actually prone to rusting, as long as they're mm. the right metals, then you can do that. Yeah. Now, let's, let's just talk. Again, I just want to, uh, I want to see the potential for everyone using the weathering solution, the advanced weathering solution. Talk to me, 
We're talking embellishments, metal embellishments, yes. yes. Metal frames, can you imagine making your own metal yeah. frames with a pure, authentic, rusted feel? Yeah. What else would you be thinking? Um, we've had people use it for jewellery. Jewelry. Um, so obviously you can get that rusty look. Obviously where it's yeah. going to be in contact with the skin though, you Could will need to careful. put a lacquer over the yeah. top. Um, but once you've got the rust and you've that got that amazing rust with look, the latter, lacquer, yeah, then yeah. put the lacquer over mm -hmm. the top. If you want it still to remain um, matte, then mm -hmm. obviously just use a matte finish lacquer. Yeah. Um, obviously then, um, like I said, we've looked at sort of costuming, um, prop design, anything like wow. that. So um, what's the wildest thing you've used uh, the weathering solution The on? wildest thing we've done with it so far is that we did 200 of these. Um, you see where it's got a hole in the top here? Yeah. We did 200 of these in a week. Um, we had all of my week? WI collecting them. Yes, yeah. I am in the WI. That confuses Amazing. a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we had 200 of them done in a week so that we could do a string of fairy lights. Um, and which where, we did you, use, where did you use that for? We use them on our stand. Um, we do a lot of steampunk shows yeah. and we actually work um, a lot of the craft shows as well around the country. Okay. So do you look and, out. And uh, yeah. we've, we've just been at the, we were among the main features at the NEC a couple of weeks ago. Ah. Um, and we had them all around our market stall. Um, so some Incredible. of you probably saw them while we were there, mm. um, all flashing away inside the cans. Just to give you details here, because we are running out of time. So for your weathering solution, twelve ninety nine. You've got so much scope with this. It is incredible. It's it's magic in a bottle. It's your own personal time machine. Uh, your item number five three eight two seven four. Now coming over, we've got our Sienna types. Uh, big fan of this. First time I've seen it. It's the effects. And what I will do, I want to pull out some of the pictures. Let's have a look. When we're talking about artwork for the home, your husband took this picture. Yes, he did. So there's a little story behind it. I think it's nice. The, um, we used to run a, an art centre and one morning we were on our way into work and fog had descended upon the town and um, one of the graveyards had just completely covered in this fog and it made mm -hmm. the most amazing backdrop. Wow. And he turned around to me and went, can I, can I, can I, can I? Yeah. Um, and he ran off down there with the camera and got this amazing photo oh, shoot um, of stunning. all the graves. But it allows you to get the cyanotype giving this beautiful vintage blue, so easy to work with, yeah. uh, giving you that negative effect. If I pop this down, so this was used just with some acetate? Yes, I've got printer. one here actually. Um, very, very simple to do. Let's see if I've got the angel herself. Yeah, here she is. Okay. This is her yeah, on acetate. Oh. Ah. Oh. So you just use the negative. Really nice and simple to make. You just print it out onto acetate. And then at the end of it, what you'll have when you use a cyanotype, so you're going from this here, the acetate, yep. to... Oh no, that's the wrong one. Sorry, that's your son. Where are you? There we <laughs> you go. Just wanted to get him in there again <laughs> to embarrass him, didn't you? <laughs> there we go. Now that, and I love the crack coming through as well. You can see that going down the picture. That yeah. is great. And you so, can even distress the acetates mm. as well yourself by hand if you really want nice. to to get that more um, cracked and distressed yeah. look in your actual cyanotype. Awesome. Bex, I've really enjoyed the sale. Unfortunately, time has beaten us. If you've got anything in your baskets, please make sure to check those out. Uh, you can follow the Inventors Asylum on social media or the Queen of Rust as well. So do look out for them on Facebook and on Instagram. And of course, you can follow all the presenters and Hochanda on Facebook as well. So it's worth, well, uh, well worth giving us a like. When are you back next? I'm back on the 17th of August mm -hmm. and I'm going to be bringing my brand new book. What? What so, can we expect yeah. from a book? Oh, we're going to be looking at how to embrace your inner wabi sabi. In fact, inner, inner wabi sabi. Inner wabi sabi. So it's. Do we all have an inner wabi sabi? We all have an inner wabi sabi. Ah. It's hiding inside all of us. It's all okay. about the Japanese art of imperfection. Ah. So you can get some sneak previews of it on our website actually if you want to have a quick look and have a sneaky peek before I come back next time. I'm I love that. Wabi Sabi. Wabi -sabi. Do you have a look. Get your sneak peek. It has been such a fantastic show. If you have just tuned in, this is one of the shows I would thoroughly suggest watch it on Rewind because see all the demonstrations and all the goodies that Bex has brought us. Now, there are two ways to do that. You can go to our website, hochanda.com, and watch all the shows via Rewind option there. Watch it in full HD. Or if you have got the Hochanda Go app, you can watch all the shows there. Bex, thank you so much. Absolute um, pleasure. I hope great. I get to work with you again. I really Excellent. enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Now we've got our one-day special coming up, and it is a corker. Hi there. Let me introduce you to Hochanda Go. This is our free app that allows you to watch Hochanda live on the go, anywhere, anytime, and purchase items featured on air from the past 14 days, giving you a quicker and easier method of shopping using your iPhone.
You can find Hochanda Go by simply accessing your iPhone's app store, typing in Hochanda into the search bar and downloading. But make sure you're a registered customer first by visiting Hochanda.com. Once downloaded, this places Hochanda Go onto your home screen for easy access. Then simply tap the Hochanda icon to access the app. Once open, you'll notice that the current live show will automatically appear. If you turn your iPhone on its side, the live stream automatically becomes full screen. But that's not all. At the bottom of Hochanda Go, you have three icons. The first icon is Live. Here you'll find the live stream along with all the items featured in the current show. The next one is Rewind, where you'll be able to access the past 14 days of shows and purchase any items featured by simply tapping the screen. The third one is your basket. Currently, it should be empty. Visit Live or Rewind and select the desired item you wish to purchase and add to basket. You'll be asked if you wish to continue shopping or go directly to your basket for checkout. Once you reach your basket, you'll notice it's very similar to our website, where you can choose different postage methods as well as applying any current voucher codes. Simply agree to the terms and conditions to check out securely. Log into your account using your registered email and password. Hochanda Go will automatically detect if you are a Freedom member and deduct your postage accordingly. Also on this screen, you can select your delivery and billing address. Once these have been selected, tap Check Out Securely. This takes you through to the payment page. Here you can make your preferred payment selection. Then once this has been selected, simply tap Submit Order and your item will be on its way. Hochanda Go. Watch live and order anywhere, anytime. Hi, I'm Michelle Huberman. I love fashion, I love colour, I love sparkle. I grew up as a child with uh, parents and grandparents who were all in the fashion business. I'd spend school holidays helping out. I always used to make my own clothes, even as a teenager. And at 19 years old, I started my own fashion business. Turnitex is about colour, sparkle and style and it can be added to any project. You can use it for clothing, you can use it for card making, you can use it for glass decoration. It will add those things to everything. This journey has led me to coming out with original ideas and lots more for the future. Make sure you don't miss me with my shows on Hashanda. Hello, welcome back to Ho Channel. Do you know what? If you're a Freedom member, this is the benefit you can get £6.97 per month, unlimited standard delivery. Now then, when you talk about unlimited standard delivery, when we've got lots of items on the show, that does especially become relevant because we've got some items I think you're going to absolutely love. Now then, um, uh, if you're a Freedom member, you can join us today again. 888888 is the item number. And uh, again, uh, any questions, do email us at any single time. But do you love shrink plastic? If you do, we've got something I think you're going to absolutely adore. It's by Graphics. It's a wonderful brand. Tell us all about it. We're joined with Kay. Kay. Hello. Hey there, my friend. Hey, you How are you? You caught me shrinking. I have. not <laughs> I can shrink this quickly. Yeah, me too. Uh, just, this is great. Uh, so, Kay, go on. what have we got here? What have we, uh, we got one of the um, uh, artist series um, strength films, and I've cut it out, covered it in, and just shrunk it. And right. I'll do the same while we're here. I'll do the same. We've got a word one as well. So, I've just cut one of the words out, and then make so cute, super cute in, uh, embellishments. That's amazing. And that's so easy to do. And that's it. Oh, it's quick, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It doesn't, yeah. It doesn't hang around. No, that art, for example, did you stamp that or did it come no, with that detail? No, it's, cut, it's print, all pre printed. That's brilliant. Yeah, that's fine. That, that, was, that was cool enough. Yeah, you can hold that one. Now. Have a little look. Yeah, so go. it's not really too hot. No, it's not so too hot. <laughs> I know no, ooh, you would give me otherwise. Yeah, no. would you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh, I see. Yeah. So, got, so, I mean, why, what, what is it that about stream passive people love? What, what would you use these bits for now? Embellishments. Really? Okay. Uh, or, or, or cards, mixed media. Yes. All your stamps. All your stamps. You okay. can stamp onto shrink plastic. Oh, of course and you can. And, and everything. So you've got another, another, uh, you know, another use for your, your, all your stamps. That's absolutely uh, brilliant. Yeah. The, 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 the artist series is um, 
design um, artists have designed them for you, which right. is a blue, th which these have come from. Yes. So you don't even have to stamp them; you can just colour them in and go. That's amazing. So That's fantastic. Brilliant. Yeah. Do you, uh, they are wonderful. I've seen these before. I never get tired of the show. I was looking forward to this. By the way, am I right? This is your only show today. Uh, yeah, I'm only here. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. So I'm a bit part time here today. <laughs> but honestly, Kate, uh, no, you work hard for us, right? Uh, we better crack on then. Right, take advantage of this hour. We have got a lot to go through. Should we have a look down the counter for all the options? We can. Should we have a little one? Yes. Right, yes. here we go. Okay. Uh, again, would you like these items? I'd add them to your basket because, again, this is the only show today. Now, we've got a lot of pick and mixes, which is great because you can tailor your own bundle. So then, this is our first pick and mix. Kay, what have we got here? You've got the artist um, shrink film. This has Lovely. been designed by a number of artists. There's 12 designs to choose from. Okay. And um, that's the 